deadly shooting in southwest Atlanta happened early this morning at an apartment complex. Channel 2's Brian Mims is live on Peyton Place. Brian, police say the shot was fired from outside of the apartment. Exactly, and police say they don't have many details about what led up to the shooting, but there is a big police presence here at Peyton Place, just off Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. You can see the officers still on the scene after more than three hours. The call came around three this morning, and when officers showed up at an apartment at 9 Peyton Place, they found a man in his early 20s who had been shot to death. It's unclear if anybody else was inside that apartment, but Police say there were no other injuries. We are on top of breaking news this morning. A deadly shooting in southwest Atlanta overnight. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson is live on Peyton Place, where police are still there at that scene. Asia, you've been gathering information now for a while. What are officers saying? We do know that one man is dead, and it is a very emotional scene out here. I just want to show you exactly where we are right now. We're at the corner of Peyton Place as well as Martin Luther King Drive as well, and this is at the corner of a Texaco gas station. So many people are out here. As you can see, you can see people hugging, very emotional, looking at the scene. Much of the focus has been at this apartment complex, like right across the street street from this Texaco gas station. Right now, we know that the call came in around 3.01 this morning. All we know that the shooting took place from the street into an apartment complex. Now, right now, police say that no suspect, they don't have a suspect at this time, but again, they do believe that the victim was apparently home when all of this happened alone. Right now, we have very limited information. Uh, we know that the uh, shooting took place uh, from the street into the apartment. Um, we do not have any uh, suspects to identify at this point, and we are working um, with witnesses and canvassing the area for video. Back out here live, you actually just saw the homicide commander going into uh, one of the apartment complexes here, and also crime scene investigators, uh, more crime scene investigators actually just arrived on scene. They've been here uh, taking pictures. You can see them in the street now kind of looking, I guess, for uh, more evidence in the street here. And also at this hour, uh, they're saying that they're still trying to determine if the suspect was in a car or on foot. All of that is still under investigation. They said all of this is in the very early stages, and they're also still trying to determine a motive. We're now we're live in southwest Atlanta this morning. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. Still very, very active, we can tell out there. Asia, thank you. Anyway, so some tragic news have actually came about for YSL Woody. So YSL Woody's close, close friend named Tay, who he always posts pictures with uh, and pretty much just say how much he loves him and stuff like that, has actually been killed. Uh, pretty much they're saying that uh, he was ran down, potentially killed at his home uh, or outside of a home shooting in southwest Atlanta happened early this morning at an apartment complex. Channel 2's Brian Mims is live on Peyton Place. Brian, police say the shot was fired from outside of the apartment. Exactly, and police say they don't have many details about what led up to the shooting, but there is a big police presence here at Peyton Place, just off Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. You can see the officers still on the scene after more than three hours. The call came around three this morning, and when officers showed up at an apartment at 9 Peyton Place, they found a man in his early 20s who had been shot to death. It's unclear if anybody else was inside that apartment, but... Police say there were no other injuries. Shooting in now, YSL Woody did take the Instagram to actually speak about it. He posted a whole lot of pictures and he posted some pretty, uh, you know, some pretty scary things with those as well. Uh, pretty much letting it be known that everybody that Tay had issues with, YSL Woody will be making sure that he goes 
after them. He already said, you had an issue with, I'm on a end. And then he also posted himself with a picture of him saying that he's the last man standing. So this shows that, of course, YSL Woody has lost a lot of people over in the war inside of Atlanta as well. Uh, and to the point to where he feels like he's the last man standing within the streets. Now, we know the, 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 the routes of the streets is either dead or in jail, right? Now, YSL Woody, who could have potentially been in jail a long time ago, he took a route of pretty much talking inside them rooms that way he's able to be free he like he said i say anything whatever y'all want to hear just to make sure that i'm free right so people always say that the worst type of street is the one that who will murder you and would actually snitch and tell on you at the same time and why sell woody seems to be one of the ones that will murder you but also tell on you at the same time because it did come out in court that he's the one that allegedly unalived Donovan Nut Thomas, right? So the thing about that is with YSL Woody saying that he's on everybody's head top that his partner had an issue with, he could be saying that he on their head top to go slaughter them or he's on their head top to give up some information to make sure they get gone for the rest of their life or at least for a whole lot of years, right? You just never know. But also this shows that since they got somebody close to YSL Woody, they're probably going to try to get YSL Woody as well. Now, YSL Woody did post a picture pretty much enjoying life, and he was like, you know, trying to enjoy life before they come and get me, which he was kind of foreshadowing uh, that there was actually somebody out to get him already as well. So, you know, with all that being said, we just going to have to see how the story of YSL Woody goes. Uh, yes, he did that interrogation footage where, yes, in fact, that was some snitching, right? But he did get on the stand and make everybody laugh. And, and and people more people actually started to like YSL Woody after he got on the stand because he was just super entertaining. And this is the internet. The internet really don't care if you're a snitch or not. The internet don't care about none of that. The only thing the internet cares about is are you entertaining and can you make us laugh? That's what the internet cares about. But the streets, which isn't the internet, I mean, of course, the internet makes a lot of the street you know, stirs and mix, whatever, but like the streets is, is actually is different than the internet. And they probably ain't trying to hear that young time. They probably entertain too, but at the same time, they got to handle that business. Uh, and which, you know, them taking care of his, his partner taste and him to the afterlife is what they consider taking care of business. Right. So, uh, spooky time, spooky hours for uh, YSL Woody. Uh, but also, you know, uh, it looking like it's time to go slide or time to go do something in order to retaliate because that's just how it goes. We know one person dies and somebody else got to die and this happened and that happened. But itself in this case, it's a little different because YSL Woody end up putting them people on you and talking about, and it is what it is <clears throat> anyway. So RP to all of fallen soldiers uh rp to the soldiers that will fall because we know it's an endless cycle let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire ordeal i'm out based in part on the statements that little woody gave to the police five ysl members were indicted for murder and 28 members of YSL were indicted for violation of RICO, racketeer influence and corrupt organizations. Damn, read this guys, based in part on statements that little Woody gave, five members indicted for murder, 28 members of YSL indicted for RICO, damn. Wow. Little Wood, I mean, his testimony, he brought down, he brought down a gang of people. Allegedly, this is from the state. This is not necessarily the truth. Isn't it crazy though? It's almost like his statement caused all of this to happen. In the so days, weeks, in the months following Nuts murder, Little Woody gave six recorded statements to law enforcement, one of which was over nine hours long, detailing Little Woody's involvement in the criminal street gang YSL and statements of YSL co-conspirators about the involvement of YSL members in the murder of Nut and other criminal activity. Little Woody gave a detailed account of the events that led up to Nutt's murder, as well as his own involvement in said events and of events and acts committed by Little Woody and other members in the months following the murder. 
phone records of Little Woody and other YSL members corroborate the statements that Little Woody gave to police. Statements by YSL co-conspirators also corroborate the statements that Little Woody gave to the police. That's why they need him. Yes, exactly. Point, A.V., such a great point. In the judgment of the Honorable Fannie T. Willis, District Attorney of the Atlanta Judicial Circuit, the testimony of Little Woody is necessary to the public interest. And wow. And look who signed it. Look who signed it. Signed Fannie T. Willis. Of course, her signature is in bold. <laughs> This is insanity. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I hadn't seen that. When I told you, I don't run behind nobody. I'm from Candisville. Okay. What? So I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, Saying okay. something about getting rid of me, like I'm. You can't get rid of me. Okay. Back then, I I tell so many lies. I tell 15 lies in one second. I don't recall what I said, and I'm not even trying to remember what I said either. The judge in the YSL racketeering trial has given prosecutors an ultimatum. Turn over all your evidence by the end of the week, or there may be a possible mistrial. The latest drama unfolded in court today with defense attorneys accusing prosecutors of not following court rules. Fox News' Angelique Proctor joins us from the live desk in the newsroom with more. Angelique. Well, good afternoon, Christine. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Paige Whitaker made it clear today the state is operating on thin ice. She has repeatedly warned prosecutors that they need to get their act together. Now, for the first time, we're getting another expert. Okay. Never gave us this information before. Young Thug's attorney, Brian Steele, is once again crying foul and accusing prosecutors of not following court rules when it comes to sharing evidence in the high-profile racketeering case. The state pushed back on the allegations by the rapper's attorney, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams. To say it's bad faith would mean that we held it back or, I mean, it's, that's not the only definition of bad faith, but we did not. That we, we did not hold it back for any, we did not intentionally keep it from them. Attorneys for the other five defendants quickly chimed in, saying former Chief Superior Court Judge Euro Glanville, who was removed from the case, had already admonished the state for the very same practices during the 19-month trial. And how many times can you say, oops? How many times can you repeatedly, systematically make the same mistake as an experienced litigator? By Wednesday afternoon, the third judge to preside over the drug and racketeering trial appeared to give prosecutors a break. You better make sure you have got all your ducks in a row and you have shared those ducks and ducklings with the defense. Now, Judge Whitaker finally concluded that prosecutors did not act in bad faith, but rather have been swamped with evidence in the longest trial in Georgia history. From the live desk, Angelique Proctor, Fox Press. Yes, it certainly has been a very long trial. We'll see if those ducks and ducklings are uh, submitted by the end of the week. Let's hope so. <laughs> Angelique, thanks so much. <laughs>